Let's move on to some strange news, guys. (laughs) The Multiverse of Madness is a few months away. It is getting real out there, guys. The cameos, the speculation, it's all happening. People are excited for this movie. Scotty, you're not because you hate all things comic books. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, though, this... Okay, so the Batman trailer came up and it was massive and then the multiverse of madness super bowl trailer is now about to or it did surpass i believe in views the batman trailer which is astronomical numbers i think the batman one has more likes but that's neither here or there they're both i think again just like we said with uh, james gunn and Zack snyder you can like marvel and dc also but you don't have to like one or the other you can be equally excited for them both But let's get into these wild cameos and why this movie is going to make a billion dollars, Steve. Is it going to make a billion dollars? (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's a a good question. I think in time. Yeah, good. It'll come close. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to wrap my head around all all of of these cameos. I'm I'm still not over Xavier. That's that's just... That blew my mind. Tip of the the iceberg. Right, right. And, you know, then I see... uh, there was a Captain Marvel variant that they're saying. Like, I didn't even, I missed that entirely when I saw the trailer. I never, yeah. I never noticed a Captain Marvel variant. So that, that was cool. And then, you know, we're hearing about, you know, uh, Do, um, Tom Cruise as, as, as Iron Man. And then, I mean, I saw something that talked about one of the Lego toys just spoiled some of the uh, potential uh, cameos. I don't know if, uh, that, you know, Cruise that's. Right? everything. Right? And Lego. Right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, you look it's at Lego, a- and then you're like, "Oh, this is why the Mandalorian was right in not having Baby Yoda merch that first season." <laughs> yes, yes. Yep. So, even like I said, the Lego set just kind of like, "Huh," you know. I'm gonna say it blew my mind because I'm at this point, I'm I'm willing to accept anything. You know, throw throw any character at me, put them in the, in, in that movie, and I'll it'll make sense. It's, I'm fine. With it. mm-hmm. So, all right. I'm cool. seeing things now of like crazy stuff like a Wolverine variant that yes. isn't Hugh Jackman. Mm-hmm. Let's get into so, this a little like, bit first. Yeah. Right. Let's say first, I think it was last week, like right after we went off the air or the next day, uh, my time to shine yes. hello on Twitter came up with a list. And the list was, for those of you who don't want to know, I suggest you just ignore us right now. But the list was. Yeah, because Professor this literally X, could be true. A lot of this could it be. It could be mm-hmm. true, but also grain of salt, right? It could not be. Yep. The first one's true, and I think this is where they want to get you. Professor X, obviously that's true. The second one, however, was not true a week ago, and it is true today. Disney Twitter uh, pretty much confirmed that Captain Carter will be in Doctor Strange 2. Mm-hmm. Uh, Captain Marvel, but it's a different Captain Marvel. Mr. Fantastic. Black Bolt, Clea is it Clea? I'm not familiar with that character. No. Balder the Brave, and the craziest one of all is Magneto. So that's what uh, leaker My Time to Shine Hello had to say a week ago. But also the Illuminati is now saying Wolverine is potentially in this, and the and the Illuminati they're very hit or miss. But uh, mm-hmm. you never know. But also. Also, there's rumors going around town that Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire, is in this movie because Tobey hmm. Maguire's Portuguese dub voice actor was in a studio with Elizabeth Olsen's voice double wearing, and uh, he was wearing a Spider-Man shirt with all three Spider-Men on it. So they, they, they're, they're playing with us, like you said, Scotty. <laughs> They're playing mm-hmm. with us. They are leading us down the roads we want to see. But, Scotty, talk about these cameos and any other cameos that you may have heard of. Uh, the man. And sh- and she has actors, too, listed, already cast. So, definite Captain Marvel yeah. variant. Not even our Monica Rambeau, a brand new actor, she's saying. Uh, Black Bolt coming from Inhumans. The TV show, same actor, uh, is pretty big. Boulder the Brave is an old leak. So, yeah, just confirming that this movie is going to be as anticipated as the Spider-Man movie, if not more. And I would not put it past Marvel to have already put fake things in that first trailer. And I also 
wouldn't put it past them to kill all of the members of this Illuminati team. You mentioned that last week. I really because like that idea. I don't think that their Professor X is going to be the Sony Professor X. I don't think any of their X-Men are going to be old cast. If they are, it's going to be for the shock and awe, like now. And they need to establish Wanda as a omnipresent being that can exist in multiple dimensions at one time. Like she is the Scarlet Witch is not a character that is duplicated through like the, the Scarlet Witch does not have variants, I guess is kind of where I'm going with that. Oh, interesting. Magneto I, is the I, most anticipated one for me, though. Even more than Wolverine or Spider-Man. Well, you got yeah, because he's her me. father. And I think that they will use Michael Fassbender as the father character to tie it all together to go back to like, you know, you're a mutant. I'm a mutant. This is us. And that could drive her to the point of like, dude, no, no more mutants, you know? So we're all kind of waiting. I saw a really good theory that thinks we are already living in the house of M and that this Scarlet Witch has already said no more mutants and that's why they don't exist. So yeah. Well, let's yeah, go dude. Steve. Steve, what do you think? Well, didn't we, we technically uh, Wanda was in one of the X-Men movies, wasn't she? Um, she was a kid. Yes. In, so, uh, so, in Japan. so there is, you know, th that there's a variant right there. Um, so it could be. Um, I'm really curious how they're going to play out Magneto. That, that's the one that really had me shaking my head. Because, again, you know, which version of Magneto are we going to see? Uh, you know, we're talking about my, uh, the, the younger version of him, but we're getting the old... Uh, Professor X. So I don't know how Magneto was going to fit into things. Um, you know, I, is he supposed to be sitting on, on the Illuminati? I don't know. So that's the one I just couldn't wrap my head around. And also, even Black Bolt. Uh, you know, where does Black Bolt fit into things? Because is it the version that we saw on that on on the the, the show in Humans, or are we going to you know forget that and move on? Uh this leak is saying that it's the one from Inhumans. It's Anson Mouth. It, it is right Anson. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, awesome. That's what they're saying. So the, the leak says Patrick Stewart's Professor X, Haley Atwell, Captain Carter, Lashana Lynch, Captain Marvel, John Krasinski, Mr. Fantastic, Anson Mount, Black Bolt, Charlie Th Theron as Clea, and then the other two are Magneto, though, Scotty. There's no actor's name next to Magneto in that, mm -hmm. uh, in that leak. So that's curious uh deadpool is also one that people speculate he's in the posters the poster and ryan reynolds no. came flat out and said he's not in it steve you're saying <laughs> no scotty what do you think are we gonna get deadpool in this movie or did deadpool not belong in these movies doesn't belong ah <laughs> uh, man i mean it's so hard now because he could have been here the whole time and just we haven't seen him because he's an x-men type character so i think it would be cool if he starts to replace like the stan lee in every movie cameos uh that's an old fan favorite of a lot of people uh but this you know the leaker she's claiming deadpool and maybe some of his friends so Interesting. what who could that even be you know colossus uh, yeah oh cable i heard cable ah see i now heard we're brolin talking. might show i heard brolin might show up as cable and thanos in this actually that's so yes. yeah oh. you see what i'm saying like they're gonna do some crazy stuff i don't think anything is out of the realm of possibility but again like the list is only the illuminati members yeah. so again to me it's like if all this information is already out there it's kind of like throwaway type stuff and they're showing them in trailers like they like to misdirect us they captain do. carter i think captain carter is the one that could outlast I not in that league, but in the Illuminati nerdy. If they're correct about Wolverine and what you said, that that rumor you heard about, you know, we're in the House of M already, and she's made it that mutants don't exist, and no one believes it. Wolverine could be the one standout in all of that, right? Mm. Wolverine could be the one. the The tough the tough part is it won't be Hugh Jackman. Mm -hmm. It's going to be another actor playing the part, and that's what's going to be tough. It would. I. I it's almost mm. like kind of wish they got to this a little bit sooner and they were able to get mm. Hugh Jackman in there for one last, as Vin Diesel would say, one last ride as Wolverine in this to kind of usher us into a new era of X-Men and the mutants. But it's, it's exciting time. There's going to, 
like we are what two months away still three months away from this movie coming out the leaks are going to come up tenfold we're going to the excitement's going to grow the trailers mm-hmm. smashing on youtube and this is why we said like dc steve is like everywhere right now because they need to be they need to assure us that they know what they're doing and marvel's just like eh, here's some doctor strange and it's going to make a billion dollars because the minute they don't think it's going to make a billion dollars guess what they're going to show fast bender's face they're going to show all these people's faces they, mm-hmm. they have that they have all those cards up their sleeves and they're ready to to play them at any time and they didn't mm-hmm. play them for no way home they never played those cards on no way home and we still went we, we i think we could like, probably <laughs> see i bet i'm not i think they really could show every single member in a trailer of the illuminati Leading yeah. up to this movie, I think we could see them all eventually. Okay, yeah. here we'll move on in a second, but I gotta ask because if, if this if this is true and Krasinski plays Reed Richards in the Illuminati only, and he's not the Reed Richards that we're gonna have in the Fantastic Four movie, mm-hmm. is that how how do fans react to that? Mine's quick. I think that's easy because he could be in the council of reeds and then just be like a uh be the read of all reads, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. The fan favorite. Steve? Yeah, I agree with Scotty on that one. I kind of wanted to see him show up as Captain uh, Captain America when he, you know, I thought that would have been fun. Like, Because he tried Cru- out for that, like, right? Exactly. You got Cruz as Tony Stark, who was supposed to be Iron Man for 47 years. And then you got Krasinski as Captain America, who wasn't. You got the, 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 the backup plan for both. All right, let's move on quickly to our... 